anyone died. Maybe Venge died once, that's pretty much it. Uh, Broodmother finished the Deso phase with its uh, 10 minute Ravage. There we go, the Stone Gaze as well. Down goes the OD, easy pickings. Maybe the Visage gonna fall as well. They got a stun, no, the TP completes. Back to base, but the OD falling there, a, a big little bonus for them. Uh, what you did miss, you know, the Broodmother taking down towers, pushing out all these lanes. And absolutely destroying the map. One to nine. Kingwin, very firm grasp on this game. As they move around swiftly, getting Nisha even more farmed up. Yeah, she's getting close to Pike with Mask of Madness. So I don't know if they want to just pressure the the tier twos right now. But he gets him from far away with the, just the spiders. Uh, they can easily take down Roche with the Medallion and the uh, Deso on Broodmother. OD needs to make an item that they can fight with. That's why he he went for drums. Look at the OD. He has one of a kind. One, one of, of each kind. kind. Bracer, no Talisman, Braid Band, even Ring of Aquila. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Well, that's going to be... Uh, Hurricane Pike drums. Pike drums. And the classic no. talisman build. <laughs> Casual no. Okie dokie. Well, Planet Dog holding on for dear life. Their base yet to be touched. Roshan still alive. But with Broodmother, what? Medallion Deso. I don't think Roshan's going to survive much longer now. I don't go in just yet. Sending Spiderlings to go and farm. Collect some bounty runes. While they secure the area around it. Of course, Roshan could be a place that Planet Dog fight into as they smoke and move forward, and it looks like that's what they're heading to do. Planet Dog moving in for this one fight to potentially end it all. Hartos caught by the Magnetize. The Earth Spirit's in, but it doesn't look like Planet Dog are able to actually catch onto a target at all. The Rubik is spinning away here, and down goes Milan. No, saved up by the Astral at the last second, but look at this, Spidling is coming forward. A little boulder smash across for five at a time, but the Ominous Slash, the Brood is killed off. Planet Dog get the better trade overall. Exotic Deer getting way too big for his boots and thinking he could get a sneaky little snipe, but he's the one that falls. This is really cocky from Brood Mother. They did not have Tidehunter ulti, so they could have just waited. Uh, Earth Spirit ulti was committed. Now Ravage does come out with a spin from the Rubik. They'll bring down Barania. Down goes the OD. Did your trying to spin away as well, but he's right-clicked into Oblivion. Nisha looking very strong at this point as a double kill for the Medusa appears out of thin air. 2 to 14 with Roshan open again, but with these heroes dead for a good half a minute, tier 2 middle lane should be an easy objective to obtain for the Polish lads. What a play by Rubik there. Uh, he has an early blink dagger plus arcane boots as well. Uh, when you play Rubik against OD, it's uh, the only spell you can steal pretty much un unless he uses uh, an eclipse, which you don't want to steal, it's not that good. Uh, the save that you have. What have we is middle tower is under attack. Not too bad. Bloodlusted Medusa. They, they don't have any, any kind of uh, mana burn on the side of. Planet Dog. Just OD, right? Yeah, look at the supports. Venge and Earth Spirit. They are so piss poor. Yeah, they are not looking great, but maybe if Milan can get in there. And they, oh, the Aegis taken by the Medusa, and they got the kill on the Roshan as well. Exotic Deer runs away, but GG is cool. That was a last ditch effort. 16 minutes and 20 seconds. King Quinn slaughter Planet Dog in game two. Absolutely hands down. One of the easiest victories I've seen in a long time. Very, very solid from Kingwin. Well, after the lanings, after they picked the heroes, I told you they're going to lose all three lanes. This is what happens. Uh, yeah. Game ends in uh, 15 minutes. Nothing they can do about it. This uh, Broodmother pick draws too much attention. Uh, Juggernaut isn't pretty much doing anything against her on the mid lane. And the support duo. We talked about it in the first game. If they want to go for Revenge and Earth Spirit, it's pretty, pretty bad. The last pick, Broodmother. But yeah, look. Divine 5, no numbers. 21, 42, 64, 83. Defeated in 16 and a half minutes. 
That's, that's the king when we know and love. Cohesive, together, playing as a family. All wonderful <laughs> stuff. And now we're going to a game three for the first time today. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a short break, but we'll have our decider. The winner of this final game, we're down to a best of one to figure out which second European team heads to the Genting Malaysian Minor for ESL 1. See you in a little bit. <laughs> 